Hey, what's going on guys? It's Joel here with as many reviews as possible and today we're going to be doing the review of the American Barbell Stainless Steel Competition Bar. Alright guys, so this is American Barbell's top shelf barbell. This is the best one they make. It's one of the finest barbells that I've used, but let's kind of go over some of the specs on what makes the American Barbell SS Comp Bar exactly what it is. First off, you've got a 190K PSI tensile strength. Um, not the highest tensile strength when it comes to uh, top shelf barbells, but still adequate and should not bend on you. The shaft is 28 millimeters in diameter, obviously, and it is a stainless steel shaft. Uh, you've got a center neural, four inches center neural. It's what they call a ghost neural. It's very, very, very fine. You would never even know it's there. It does not tear up your, your neck at all. Um, the knurling is some of the best knurling that I've ever had on any barbell that I've, I've used. Um, it looks very light and it actually feels very light as well. But when you're, when you're pulling, it like just sticks to your hand. It's uh, definitely one of the most comfortable barbells that I've used and um, I really, really can't get over this knurling. The shaft also only has the IWF marking, no IPF marking, but that's not why you're buying this barbell. All right, in every American Barbell SS Comp Bar, you'll find 10 needle bearings, five per sleeve. It actually is held together by American Barbell's proprietary locking system. It looks like it's an exposed bushing, but it is actually covered by a dust cap to prevent anything getting in there. Uh, it looks really, really cool. It's unlike anything you've ever seen. The sleeves are friction welded together. The weld is recessed right here. Um, so this piece is welded onto this piece versus having one uh, sleeve cut from a single piece of steel. There's not a whole lot of ribbing on the actual sleeve surface, but Due to the tight tolerances of the bar, it holds plates on very, very well. The sleeves don't spin a whole lot compared to other high-end barbells, but they definitely do spin very smooth and very uh, consistently. You won't have to worry about any kind of um, stoppages if you're lifting under any kind of uh, reasonable load. These sleeves are also coated with a hard chrome versus a, the stainless steel that is on the shaft. Um, so if you do put metal plates on the sleeve, it will damage the sleeve surface. All right, so here we're gonna take a look at the different knurls of some of the higher end barbells. So this is the Rogue Fitness Euro Bar. It's one of my favorite knurls thus far, and it's only a little bit more aggressive than the American Barbell SS Comp Bar's knurl. Notice there's a little bit more cross hatching going on the American Barbell Bar, um, but both are very, very comfortable knurls. They're not aggressive at all. This is the Alico Sport Training Bar. Um, not my favorite knurl. It's a little bit aggressive for my tastes, um, but I don't really like aggressive knurling. They all hold very well, so you really won't have to worry about any kind of grip issues. And here is the Rogue Fitness Ohio Bar, just for comparison's sake, uh, most people have used this barbell. All right, so now we're gonna do some kick tests to display the width of each barbell. This is the Rogue Euro Bar. Now this is the American Barbell SS Comp. And here is the Alico Sport Training Bar. All right guys, so when it comes down to pure performance of a barbell, the American Barbell SS Comp is definitely one of the better performing bars that I've ever used. Um, just the fluidity of using the barbell 
is what makes it special. Um, the whip is excellent, the spin is very, very smooth. Um, there's really nothing that I have um, complaint-wise with this barbell other than the fact that it does cost $795. So it is out of reach from a lot of weightlifters. If you are looking for a single bar to train on, then the American Barbell is definitely worth your money. It is better than the Alico Sport Training Bar. Um, it is pretty much on par with a Rogue Weightlifting Euro Bar. Um, and that really just comes down to what you like better. The Rogue is a little bit cheaper than the American Barbell is. Though the American Barbell's finish is better than the Rogue's hard chrome coating. All things considered, the American Barbell is one of the finest bars that I've ever used and if you spend the money on it, you will definitely cherish this barbell. It is a blast to use and you cannot go wrong buying it. Um, if you guys have any questions about the American Barbell SS Comp Bar, please leave them in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer them to the best of my ability. And as always guys, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you check out the review on as many reviews as possible.com. Thanks, guys.